spoiler alert, in the video after this, we're actually going to start writing some interactive HTML. It's going to be awesome. But before we get there, uh, I need to answer a question, which is, what is this lowercase message that I've been typing every time and telling you to ignore up until right about now? Uh, HTML message uh, is something that's going to become really important when we start adding events to our programs. So if you're writing HTML and you have a button, uh, you might have an on-click event for that button. Um, how Elm works is uh, there is this HTML module, HTML events, and that has functions like on-click. So if we wanted to add on-click uh, to this div, for example, clickable divs, people love it. Um, what we can do is we can uh, uh, basically say, what kind of message we want to send when the user clicks the button. So maybe the message is clicked, all caps. When I save this, everything uh, in my program is read and I get this error message. Let's take a look at, at what error message I get. It's saying something is off with the body of the main definition. The div call produces an HTML string, but the type annotation on main says it should be HTML message. So what you can see is that when I added this attribute, I got this problem and it thinks that this isn't a message anymore, it's HTML string and it looks like this fixes it. So when I click this, uh, you know, when I click the, the page, um, it's like sending out this like clicked message. Uh, if I change this to, instead of being a string one, two, three, I get an error again. And the error says, whoa, this div produces HTML number, but the type annotation says it's HTML string. So it turns out that what this variable represents is what gets emitted when an event happens. So just like you can have a list of integers or a list of strings, you can have HTML that returns string events or int events. The most common thing that you're gonna see is that uh, we use custom types uh, when working with events. So for example, I might make a custom type called message that is page clicked, uh, message page clicked. And what that allows me to do is it allows me to um, say like, hey, when this is clicked, I can say main content clicked. I get an error because it doesn't know what main content is, main content clicked is. If I add this here, I'm going to get an error message that's really hard to read. All right. So take a look at this. Something is off with the body of the view main content definition. The main call produces HTML message, but the type annotation says it should be HTML message. <laughs> You're going to run into this all the time, especially if you use this lowercase MSG, which is like the convention uh, that people use. But it becomes a little bit easier if you see that this is just a variable like anything else. And so really what the error is saying is not that it's message and it should be message, but rather that it's uh, this variable that's flexible that we happen to call MSG here. Um, but it should be this specific type called capital MSG. So the, the issue is, is as soon as we add an event that emits a certain type of value, we need to say that this HTML can only work with those types of values. So that's how you make that kind of error go away. You're gonna run into this all the time. If it's helpful, bookmark this video or do something and come back to it because uh, it's, it's, it's going to happen to you. <laughs> it happened to me a lot. Uh, and it gets even more confusing when you start to mix different types. So for example, uh, if this HTML message, uh, you know, is talking about, um, you know, this is like kind of the message inside of my main module. Let's say my footer, I want to have a clicked, uh, you know, an on click event. It's like footer clicked. Um, I would need to add my own custom type to handle that message. On click, of course, I need to import from um, the events module. So this compiles, but then I get another error over here where this is complaining. And so what we see is that the third element is returning HTML with a components footer message, but
but all the previous ones are just returning a normal message. So a thing that happens um, in Elm is you can start to mix your components together and say, hey, this returns you know, this type of uh, HTML, this returns this type of HTML. But when you go to put them in a list together, um, remember how you can't mix a list of strings and a list of integers? Um, this is the exact same error that we saw earlier when we were doing that. Everything in a list must be the same type of value. This way, we never run into unexpected values partway through list.map, listfold, etc. So the problem is, is that the footer view is returning HTML for footer messages, but everything else in this file is returning HTML for these uh, capital M like main messages that we defined right here. So in order for this to be happy, everything needs to be uh, this capital M. Uh, message so we can say you know from footer components dot footer dot message and this from footer function will take in or this from footer variant if we give it a footer message it will convert it to a message because that's how those variants work right those custom types that we talked about in previous sections so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this it's going to be upset because i never exposed that message type and now what you'll see is I can use HTML.map and I can provide from footer. And that is going to take my components footer.message and it is going to use from footer as a constructor here to go from components footer message to my main message. It would be a little bit easier to talk about if I just kind of name this a different thing. Uh, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to comment this out so we get the error one more time and we can see that it is expecting uh, uh, everything, all the previous elements so far have either been flexible like header.view because it has a lowercase variable or it's been constrained to be a main message because that's what it saw here uh, and this component footer view does not match up and so the way we're going to get things to match up is we are going to create uh, something that converts components footer message to main message. And just as a reminder, from footer message, something that does this, a function that looks like this, it's the exact same thing as um, from footer. That's how we're getting away with, with, uh, with passing that into. So if I've got my footer message, we can use from footer as a constructor, give it the footer message. And then when we put those two things together, that's how we're getting the main message. So big, the big takeaway is as much as possible, you're going to want to use these lowercase variables for your components because it's going to make your components flexible and you're not going to have issues. You're not going to be able to do that as soon as you decide you're going to put one of these in here. So a common strategy that people use is just like you can pass in labels to headers, or you can pass in different information, is that you can pass... Um, uh, you can pass like, uh, let's see, let's make this one capitalized. You can pass in what happens on click uh, to, you know, uh, your footer. So let's make footer flexible again. And then rather than saying, hey, it's always going to create this value when it's clicked, let's ask, like, what do I do on click? So message on click can be passed in. And then that way, when I call footer, um, here, let me make, let's make this a record to make it even clearer. So we're going to call this props. You can say props dot on click. And now the footer is asking, I've been geared to this message. Sorry. The footer is asking what message should I emit when I get clicked? Cause I have to register the event here cause I'm the one writing the markup. Um, but you tell me whoever, whatever components calling me or whatever page is calling me. Uh, you tell me what I should send out. That way I don't have to constrain myself with a capital M and run into all these annoying problems that we saw on the side. Um, so uh, some folks call this the teach me how to message pattern. I think Richard Feldman popularized that nickname for it. But the idea is just like you can pass in um, a label as an argument, you can pass in a message as an argument. Everything is just values here, functions and values and all. So uh, the big takeaway is on click, uh, clicked footer, and it just be one of these. So we don't even need to have this converter. We don't need to do all this stuff. We don't need to use the HTML map, any of that. And so now all of a sudden, uh, everything's working.
we can even add main message right back in here. We can add the on click. And so if you want, you can, um, you know, do these within a file, but if you're ever making a component, I really do recommend keeping the view function uh, for those components, having that lowercase message. They can be used in any context. You can reuse this footer on the home page, on the deep, you know the blog page, on the not found page, all that stuff, and it's not going to be um, restricted uh, by the type of message that it is. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, I'm really excited to get to the next section where we can start uh, adding some interactivity and moving away from uh, these kind of static pages that don't do too much except for look pretty in a, a <laughs> default browser serif font. Um, yep, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.